Okay, folks, this is it. This is a uh, C3. I don't know the year, but I'm figuring because it has wooden cheek blocks and a rounded uh, chorus knob, it could be in the 50s, maybe 60s. Uh, the wood's very dark. The keys are in pretty decent shape. They do clack a bit, and we do have one of the presets here that, for whatever reason, won't operate, but everything else works fine. Okay, it seems to have tape right below the top and bottom manual. This could be because the guy was trying to save on paint or because she has a ground problem and maybe shocks the hell out of you when you're playing it. <laughs> Who knows? Also, some other things about this organ is the, uh, the start knob, the start uh, toggle here usually is supposed to be, a, is usually supposed to, uh, you know, be spring-loaded. Well, for some reason this one's not. I haven't fired it up yet. I will let you know. Yeah, and the drawbars here all work pretty smoothly, so I don't foresee much of a problem with that as well. Okay, so everything's looking good. The organ looks good. All right. I think you, you can see what's going on with the organ. As I told you before, uh, for the most part, it's all running pretty smoothly. Uh, the only problems that I have seen so far are the fact that this one switch here, you know, your start switch, isn't spring-loaded. So I haven't fired up yet. We don't know what's going to happen with that. It's been chopped up for some reason. I guess this guy had some kind of custom uh, setup for the keyboards on top. Has a sweet, uh, uh, strange looking switch down there. I think it's probably Leslie. Also, another switch over here. I don't know what that is yet. We will find out. Dollies are in good shape. The cabinet's pretty solid as you can see. And uh, the person, whoever had it, who owned this thing, put a half a piece of wood on the top so it would resemble a B3 from the front so you can see the feet. So I may keep it that way. I may switch out this board though to a nicer looking board. The inside, all stock. I don't see any kind of modifications. The caps look original. Uh, I did oil it. Okay, the drawbars. Look good, as I told you in the top. The tone wheel here is moving quite freely. I don't think it's locked up or anything. That's a good sign, I guess. Uh, there's the inside. Here's the uh, information there. So I probably should be able to track it down, what year it is. The tubes are in surprisingly good shape. I think these were just changed recently because they're very clear, not a lot of dust on them. And like I said, with the exception of uh, a little weirdness on there. I don't know exactly what that is. Maybe something broken or something. That can be repaired, I'm sure. And uh, it's looking pretty nice. Everything here looks looks to be original. It does have, uh, down here in the connection, it has a spot for two Leslie's. Okay. And power. Two Leslie's and power. Which is always a good thing. So, at this point. Okay, the Leslie. It is a from all, from my, from my viewpoint, I think it's a uh, 142. Cabin's in not bad shape. It can be, it's all there. All the trim is all there. It's taken a beating, but it can be refinished. Walk around to the back. As you can see, there's nothing inside, but the crossover's there. That's good. Saves some money there. So, you know, it's, uh, it's all complete here. I just got to find the, the guts. Of course, somebody took out the tub down there, but the, the uh, looks like the grommets down there, so all you have to do is find, find another tub and just slip it right in there. Who knows? Maybe we can switch out the other components we have in the other cabinet. I don't know yet, but she's in, not in bad shape, you know? I've seen much worse. So here she is. This is the right out of the box. This is right out of the box. And I uh, just took her out of the trailer. So there's where she was, right there. Took her out of the trailer. And uh, so from here on out, we're going to see exactly what we got. This is Baby Girl, 22nd of July. And uh, this is what she looked like when I put her out of the trailer the first time. So any changes I make, you'll be able to see. I may keep her, I may turn her black. I may bring the color back and restain her. Who knows? But once again, she is not a bad looking organ. And there it is. I did notice on the, down here at the bottom, though, it does say Madness Incorporated. I kind of like that. 
Okay. It's Smoke Man and Baby Girl. Break it down one time.